Okay, I do just want to speak on this really fast. Don't ask any questions about it. I, so, this was my friend's great-grandmother's. And she gave it to me, or she gave it to my friend right before she passed away. Um, about two years ago. And my friend just gave it to me. I, I, I think he honestly lost it. And then he found it, like, a few months back. And he gave it to me. Well, I gave it to my other friend. And then Christmas Day which, as I'm recording this, was two days ago, at like 5.30 in the morning, he called me, he said, Levi, Levi, Levi. I was like, what? He's like, I just got my chain to it. I was like, bro, that, oh my God, that thick-ass necklace. So I got out of bed, I was like, okay, come, get somebody to come pick me up, because obviously I can't drive, I'm 12 as a motherfucker, but like, you know, I was like, okay, come, get somebody to get me, you know? So I pulled up to his house, and, you know, I got about $100 in my pocket, I was like, Hey, uh, I like your chain, I said, because he posted a picture on Instagram with it, like, uh, fresh off the lot or some stuff like that. His name was Ronnie. He's really disrespected in the hood and shit like that. But, anyways, not important, right? So, um, I pulled up. I was like, okay, so I'll give you $100 for that chain. He said, 150 I said, okay. But, and I pulled it out of my pocket. And I said, oh, my bad. And he's like, oh, that's all good. And he bent over to pick it up. And I brought a BB gun. Because I knew, you know, you, you, he obviously couldn't see it, so I stuck it to the back of his head. And you know how a BB gun feels at the back of your head? So he was like, uh, um, I said, pick up the $100, give it to me. And I put it in my pocket with my other hand. I, t I took off the chain with my other hand, I put it on my neck, you know. And I said, yeah, you just got stuck up with the BB gun, and I kicked the fuck out of him. Like, this was Sparta or some shit like that. And, um... This is the type of shit that go down in Andalusia. Y'all can look up the most dangerous cities in Alabama. Most of the time, Andalusia is in the top 20 or 15. Um, I live, I live like primarily with my brother. But then again, sometimes I'll live like I live with my brother. But I'll usually go to my mom's house. Or she's not my mom. She's like my aunt. But, you know consider her my mom, you know, but, um, yeah, right now I'm at my aunt's house in, in Florida, but, like, it's crazy down here, you know, like, motherfucker, like, shit, you know, on Western, it's crazy, the motherfuckers, like, it's just crazy, I mean, that man got stuck up with a BB gun and a shoe, like, it's crazy, oh, and I didn't give it back to Coda. Or Latrell. Latrell was mad. He's like, okay, can I have my chain back? I said, hell no. Fuck, bitch ass pussy. Like, I won this shit back for you. You could have gone and handled that shit yourself. You woke me up at 530. I was like, you gotta get me back home before the fucking sun comes up. Before I beat your goddamn ass. And so he showed me, you know. He's like, okay, okay, listen, okay. I paid $200. I said, no, I'm not giving this up. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much you give me. He's like, okay, you win. And he just took me home. So yeah, that's the story on how I got this chain. Um, also, this is my first video to YouTube. I don't plan on doing videos like this, but, you know, give me something to talk about in the comments below if you've seen this, you know. But, uh, yeah. Goodbye.